Welcome guys back to the video today. I'm going to back to some more Minecraft Dungeons and today, as that's our top by title, we're going to be doing another, I guess not titling a dinosaur, but creature, as uh, last weekend's video with the Indominus Rex. Today we're going to be doing the Indoor Raptor Enclosure, though in the in saying that we did do the Indominus last weekend, we do have the name suggestion for the Indominus Rex, so let's go ahead and get to that. Okay guys, so here we are at the Indominus Rex Enclosure, as you can see. Um, let's go ahead and get out the sign. But either way, so we'll put it put it over here. So this next session comes from JD T Rex, as he does leave a lot of name sessions. I do appreciate the support he gives the channel. And he said to name female. I don't think it'll fit in that line, so let's go in here. Killer White. So thank you, JDTRs, for the name session. And uh, in case you're wondering why I have a shield, it's so I can hopefully actually name tag this uh, Indominus. I don't know how well it's going to work, but we're going to try it. Okay, I can take one hit. Wow. Literally just one shot me. I did not expect that. <laughs> okay. Well, either way, I guess we didn't really need a shield, but... Either way, yeah, there's Killer White all the way over there. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on, uh... Yeah, let me go ahead and put the shield away real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Get to the first enclosure for our... Go-around of all the enclosures, and I'll be, uh, right back. Okay, as I'm back, we're over here at the compy enclosure, so we got five compies now. As you can see, that one right there is a baby one. It's smaller than the others. So these guys are breeding now. Um, over here, we have the hyenodons, which you got Dave back there. You got Alex, and then you got their three babies. Uh, Mike, Josh, and Dave Jr., so they're all doing good. Um, over here, we have the postosuchus, which we have one there. And then if I go ahead, and there's the other one, the baby. We have the Dimorphodon that's still alive, which is up there. I never actually realized they could stand up there. Wait, no, they shouldn't be able to. He should have been inside a wall right there. Wait, what? I don't know how he stood there, but whatever. It's, the other one's death has disappeared. There's only one of them. Microraptor, they're both dead has disappeared. Over here at the rare source closure. One is dead has disappeared, I believe. The other, or no, they're both still in here. Both still doing good. I'm um, heading over here. We have the Guilong, which I believe is Death Has Disappeared, what I remember. Though they do like to hide in this enclosure a lot. No, it looks like their Death Has Disappeared. Over here at the Hyenodon, or Smilodon, I mean, enclosure. One of them is there, those Death Has Disappeared. Uh, the Liella Sora enclosure. Um. One of them is in here, the other one is Death Has Disappeared. Over here we have the Chiliosaurus. Two of them are doing good. And finally, for this side of the river at least, we have the Dodo Enclosure, which as you can see... Mm, there's all four of them, they're all doing good. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and head to the other side of the river and sleep, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, over here on the other side of the river we have the... Protoceratops, two of them are doing good. Right here we have the Orthiomimus, which... I see the one. I don't see the... Oh, well, here's the other one. Okay, come on, buddy. Can you... Nope, stay in here. Come on. Gotta get you back in your enclosure. Come on, buddy. Oh, you're not even able to fit through that. You literally just glitch in there. There you go. Come on. Not where I wanted that to go. That works, I guess. Okay. Um, over here at the small or the Titanus enclosure. Two of them are doing good, as you can see right there. Pachycephalosaurus. Um, two of them are doing good. Then there are three babies, I believe, they had. It looks like all three of them are doing good as well. Um, over here, we have the 
Dilophosaurus, which look to not be in their enclosure. Unless they're both down here. There's one of them. Actually, I'm pretty big as well. Though I do not see the other one. Okay, so we're missing one uh, Dilophosaurus. Two Overactors, as you can see, are doing good. And down here, we have the Rugops, which... Um... I only see one, though. Looks like one is destined to disappear for the Rugops. Alright, stop closing myself in the door. Okay. Um, well, if we go ahead and head back among our steps, right through here we have, uh, these guys. And then right here on our left, we're gonna have the Carnotaurus right up here. Um, I already see their tails through the wall somewhat. We, there's, we see two of them, but just get a bit of a bigger angle in the second one. There they both are. Okay. Heading over this way, we have the Pro Ceratosaurus. Um, go ahead and just head in here. And if we go ahead and turn this corner, there two of them are. They like to kind of just chill down there in that little cave. Um, close these doors. Over here we have the Stegosaurus, which looks to be only one of them right now. They do sometimes duplicate and then there's only one, then there's three, and then there's 15. It's, I don't know, Stegosaurus are weird. They kind of duplicate and divide randomly. But, uh, Parasaurus are doing good. Um, Chasmosaurus, two of them are doing good as well. Um, the Alvarezosaurus, that's even how you pronounce that. They're both just disappeared. Therizinosaurus is doing good. One is just disappeared, though. And finally, at least for this row, we have the Gallimimus, which just has disappeared. So, I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and run down here um, and get to the other dinosaurs. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I found the Rugops that escaped. I'm just going to make him sit, and I'll go get him back in his closure off camera. But uh, we have the Segiosaurus right here. So, yeah, Segiosaurus, two of them are doing good. Uh, the Majungasaurus, two of them are doing good. Um, heading up here, we have the Trudon, which, mm, there's two of them right there. They're kind of, like, inside of each other, though. Right? Yeah, there's two of them. They're just kind of, like, literally inside of each other. Um, over here, we have the Micro Ceratus. There's the one over there, and then there's these three. They're doing good. Up here we have the Velociraptors, which they're all doing good. Allosaurus over here. Um, I believe we're actually missing one of these guys, though. There's one. Yeah, we are missing one of these guys, so there's the adult one. Um, we have the Achillobators right here. They're both the dead has disappeared. Heading down this way some more. We have the Lambiosaurus, which are both doing good. The Gallim or the not Gallimimus, Giganotosaurus is doing good over there. Um, heading down here, we can go ahead and Spinosaurus has been dead. Dead just disappeared for a little bit of time. Ankylosaurus is dead just disappeared. Spinoraptor is dead just disappeared. Camarasaurus is one is death has disappeared the other one is right there doing good over here we have the dreadnoughtus um which i believe is death has disappeared though might always double check yep death has disappeared um heading back this way over here we have the triceratops enclosure which i believe are both good yep two of them are doing good back there we have the Baryonyx over here. Um, two of them are doing good. Over here, we have the Ceratosaurus enclosure. Which, as we can see, two of them are doing good. Actually, did I leave them on a sitting animation? Nope. Oh, wait, yeah, I did. Sorry, guys, there you go. You can go ahead and wander. 
do your guys' thing. Um, over here, and we obviously have the T-Rex enclosure, if you don't know. Heading up here, there's Rexy. And obviously, as you guys saw earlier, when we named the Indominus, his enclosure's over there. Or her, actually, because it is a female T er, Indominus. And, uh, yeah. I, I believe that is all the dinosaurs in the park. And, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started building the Indoraptor enclosure. And I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Just got finished building the enclosure. As you see right here, we have the Indoraptor egg. And, uh, yeah. So, let's go ahead and head over to the enclosure. So, I built the enclosure, um... I don't know, like, exactly how to explain it, but it's somewhat near the Indominus Rex enclosure. It's, uh... You'll guys see when we get over there, but it's, like, on the... It's across another river. So, yeah, it's across a river, which I built a bridge for. And it has a, uh... It's like a peninsula, kind of. Um, you'll see when we get there. I think it's right up here. I think. Oh, here. Let's just head through here. And then, yeah, here. I'll show you. If we head over here, up this little hill, you guys already see on the map, of course, but I did build a little bridge over the river because right here. Here we go. Because I'll. Because I figured, you know, at some point in time we do. I will end up uh, sprucing up this park, actually adding pathways and everything to it. So. Figure my ways to make just somewhat of a uh, bridge that's temporary. I'll probably change that at some point, but maybe not. I don't know. But uh, yeah, here's the enclosure. As you can see on the map, it's just like on this little uh, peninsula right here. Um, but yeah. Go ahead and head in here. As you can see, I use the same doors on that were on the Indominus Rex and T-Rex enclosure. And actually, I should grab that shield because this thing may kill me. Let's just hope that doesn't happen. Though I highly doubt it won't. Six. There we go. Okay, so go ahead and place you down. Oh, you've tamed an Indoraptor. Wait, so I can actually make him sit? Ooh. Okay. There we go. There's his six growth serum. And I'm gonna try to see how big he is, but as you can see, this is the male. You actually see this is the colors from the movie, obviously. That's why I obviously did the male, as uh, if you look at the comment section from the Indominus Rex video, JD T Rex mentioned that I should do the male, because that's the one that has the stripe, that has the male stripe, or the movie stripe, I guess you could say. Yeah, I think he's gonna be an adult. I think he's already. Yeah, he's an adult already. Technically, 25 days old because of the growth serum. 26 now. Yeah, you see how big he is. This guy doesn't get much bigger, right? I don't think he does. But yeah, look at this guy. Look at the size of him. That's really good. But uh, yeah. Either way, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, obviously don't forget to leave like, subscribe. If you guys want to leave name suggestions down below for this guy, I mean, here he is. He's a male. This is what he looks like. Same as the movie. Uh, but, uh, yeah. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave like, subscribe. I've been appreciating our support. 310 subscribers right now. And, uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time.